Replay. Hey everyone, welcome. It's Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen, Independent Couturier with Chalk Couture. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you are catching me live, you will see the big red live box in the upper left hand corner. That means we can chat right here live on Facebook. And if you are watching the replay, make sure you give me a hashtag replay. And if you're catching me on YouTube, you guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, whoopsies, for all the fun crafty videos. And uh, if you love what you see today, sorry, that caught me off guard. I was like, oops, I didn't change my screen. Um, if you love what you see, I would love it if you'd share my video. It is the greatest compliment you can give me, and I need to turn that around because you don't want to see my desk. <laughs> you want to see me, right? So welcome, you guys. Welcome to all of our loyal followers. Welcome to all of our new followers. This is a fun DIY home decor company, Chocolate Boss, called Chocolate called Chocotour. If you have never heard of it, real quick, what is Chocotour? So this is a DIY home decor business opportunity, and you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have these amazing silkscreen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste, and we have Couture Inks. Now we do offer several surfaces like chalkboards, box wood frames. We have beautiful white Odette, Odette boards. We have canvas banners and pillowcases, but this can be done on wood, walls, glass, tin, dry erase board, you can make t-shirts, dish towels. You guys, the list is truly, truly endless. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you is a DIY home decor business opportunity. It is just $99 in the US and $129 in Canada. The kit is worth over $240 worth of products. And this is probably the best time of year you could join. Number one, because it's the biggest decorating season. We have Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. It is also the biggest gift giving season. So again, you have another opportunity and maybe you are just your crafter year round. You guys, this is an amazing opportunity. So if you are interested in learning more, watching a 15 minute video, please give me a hashtag join and I will make sure I get you the link to my opportunity group. Super fun, quick video. And then you can ask any questions. So. You guys, I showed you the pictures of those trees. I just got those trees. They are so cute. It is like, there's a four foot tree, there's a five foot tree, and I think the other one's a three foot tree. I just got them from Walmart, like no joke. They were only $55, super cool. But I thought this would be a fun way to make these cute little gifts, right? That are gonna be, they're our faux gift that are gonna be placed right under that tree. Now let me tell you, you, you probably looked on Pinterest and seen this idea. A lot of people were making them with wood. I'm actually using canvas. So you guys, these are just basic canvases that you can buy at any local craft store or Walmart or wherever. Same basic canvases and these are white. Now anytime I use canvas, you guys, I do wax my surface. So it is just a min wax finishing paste in natural. That is what I use. Um, for those of you who have never seen it, I always like to show. It is just a wax. You dip your paper towel in there, you rub it all over your surface, and then you let it dry. Like 10, 15 minutes, um, you let it dry, and then it's good to chalk on. It says to let it dry overnight. If you do that, that's great, but I usually do like 10, 15 minutes. So I have done that, um, and then you guys are going to probably think I'm nuts, but I'm going buffalo plaid again. Like I, It's everywhere. I love it but I am totally going buffalo plaid again for these two gift presents that we're gonna be doing today. But I'm gonna be doing one in our large buffalo plaid and then one in the mini buffalo plaid. So that is what we are gonna be doing today. And like I said, these are just your regular canvases. So let's get this party started. Get this party started. What's everyone doing? What is today? Today's Tuesday, Matthew? What? Today's Tuesday. Yeah. Matthew's home from school today, you guys. He's got a really, really, really bad, bad cough and chest cold and sore throat. And he's passing it along to me because I've had a runny nose and sore throat all day. So it's really great. So these transfers, you guys, are all reusable. So as you can see, I've used the large buffalo plaid many of times already. I wrote on the back so I know what side of my carrier sheet my transfer will go back on. All I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up right off of here. 
I'm going to flip mine over and I'm going to remove my carrier sheet from my transfer. Just like that. I'm going to set this aside and actually I'm going to just put it right back there. All right, I'm going to flip it. There's the adhesive side of the transfer and then the front. So you always are going to put the adhesive side down on your surface. Now you guys, like I said, these are all reusable. So if you've never heard about this, all you do is clean our transfers up with water. You wipe them down with a Clorox wipe. And then you usually can get anywhere from eight to 10 uses out of one transfer, which is super awesome. So if I wanted to do something else with this, there was a girl on our team who did an amazing Buffalo plaid t-shirt with the word blessed. Jen, if you end up coming on here, I love that t-shirt and I just haven't had a chance to make that. I love that t-shirt. So now all I'm doing is just smoothing it out so there are no air bubbles in my silk screen. Now the one thing I will tell you, when you are working with canvas, I may have a little bit of a hard time with this only because I don't have anything up underneath there to give it a little bit support, but it's okay. You can stick a towel under there if you want to. I'm not gonna do that. You know what, let me see. Let me see if this will work. It may not work because it's not square. Ah, oh, I know what I could do. Ha, ha, ha. Let me see. Can I stick this under there? Just to give me a little bit more support because this buffalo plant is a little bit bigger. Ha ha, there we go. And it just gives me a little bit more of an area that I can push on there. Hey, Melissa, how are you? So like I said, I'm just pressing this down so that there are no air bubbles in there and making sure it's down on my surface. Now I am gonna be using our chalk paste in black today. Only color I'm using today, again, blah, I know. But this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take my multi-purpose tool and stir this up. Now just so you know, hey Gretchen, how are you? Our chalk paste does come in over 30 different colors. Um, this one is actually really, really large. This one only designers can buy. If you purchase any from my website, they come in a, let me just show you, a three ounce jar, just like that. These things can last for a very long time. You don't need a lot of chalk paste. And it is water soluble and semi-permanent. So it kind of goes on as this liquid and it dries as a solid, you guys. Super amazing stuff and make sure some of my other videos if you want to see how you can remove it on anything that's non-porous. That's the really cool thing about this product. Now your chalk paste, you want it to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency. I want this one just a little bit thinner. Oh, thanks, Melissa. I'm, I'm pretty happy right now getting used to it, you know, but um, definitely, definitely what we needed to do. So thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. All right, so that, I like that, that's about good. I'm just gonna go ahead, wipe this off. Like I said, this is our multi-purpose tool. It's super amazing. Love this tool. You will need one of these. It's great to clean and stir. This is also reusable, so it's just gonna go in my little tub of water off to the side. I'm gonna use my small squeegee. I'm gonna dip it right in here, and then I'm just gonna scrape this across the silk screen. Okay, that's all you do. You scrape it across the silk screen. Doesn't matter if you go up or down, left or right, you guys. You just want to spread your chalk paste out. Okay? We're not painting, though, so I don't want you to think you're painting. You want to use pressure and scrape it across that silk screen. Do, do, do. You guys, I don't know about you. I have been listening to Christmas music for like, what, the last two days, Matthew? Three days? Do you guys listen to Christmas music? Give me a hashtag Christmas music if you are listening to Christmas music. Listen, I am all about celebrating Thanksgiving too, so don't get me wrong. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. I love turkey. I love cooking for Thanksgiving, but like just decorating for Christmas makes me happy. It makes me happy. It makes my little one, he's not little anymore, but it makes him happy, and that's what I like. All right, so any excess scraping off. And I actually had Christmas music on today, but I already shut it off because I don't want Facebook or whatever to block me saying I'm using music that's not mine. Yay, we got hashtag Christmas music. All right, so now all I'm gonna do, oops, 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 is peel up my transfer, top to bottom, left to right, ta-da! 
This is gonna go right in my little tub of water off to the side because I'm gonna clean this up later. Okay, got my little tub of water over here. You could use your sink, whatever's easier for you. Some people put it back on the carrier sheets till later. Entirely up to you. Hey, welcome. Deirdre, welcome, welcome. So there's one, okay? I'm gonna set this off to the side because we're gonna do some pretty fun stuff with these. Believe me, they're not done yet. Let me set this over here because I'm gonna bring this over here. All right. Now we're gonna do our little one. And this one, I think I'm just gonna leave half of this on here. It'll just be easier if I do it this way. Cause this one's really tiny. Really tiny. Yay, so excited you're listening to it right now. Love it, absolutely love it. All right, so let me see, cause I gotta make sure this is even. Make sure it's even, oops. Don't want that sticking together. If you guys have any questions as we're going along, please let me know. I would love to answer those for you. Anything about Chocotour, anything about Christmas, anything about Matthew, anything about our new space. Tell me about what you're doing today. I would love to know. Are you making cookies? All right. So again, just smoothing it out so there's no air bubbles in there. Ooh, there's a big one. And that's kind of, okay, so this one I'm a little worried about, I'm not going to lie, because I don't have anything under there. But it is what it is, it'll work fine, we'll be good. Okay, we're going to go with it, it's going to be fine. We're just going to go with it. Okay, we're going to go quick. Wait till you see what we're gonna do with these. We're gonna make them look just like presents. And you know, for me, a lot of my ideas, you guys, I get a lot of my ideas from like going into home goods stores, going on Pinterest. There are so many ideas on Pinterest that you could like recreate. Like I said, a lot of these that I have seen have been made with wood. Um, I just don't have my wood cutting machines here, or I'm sure I would have. But I thought these were perfect. I got these, honestly. I think I bought these on sale. They're square and perfect. Just scraping off my excess. Putting that right back in the jar. Boy, I'm making a mess of myself. Putting my squeegee in the water. Okay, are you ready? Hopefully this one turned out okay. Oh yeah, she's good. She is good, good, good. All right. So I'm gonna put this off to the side as well. I will clean that one up. Actually, let me take that off of there before I forget. And I'm gonna put this one in my water as well because I don't want that chalk paste to dry in there and that's silk screen, right? You don't want that to happen. Water reactivates the chalk paste, so that's why you clean it off with water. I'm making a mess. All right, so. Let's get our handy dandy hair dryer out here so we can continue. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. I think I need to plug in my hot glue gun too. I think I forgot to do that. All right, so we're gonna tidy this up a little bit. Let's get our hair dryer. Dry this up. <laughs> what are you all doing today on this Tuesday? Can you believe it's like mid-November? How many days till Christmas, Matthew? 43. 43 days till Christmas, you guys. 43 days. How crazy is that, right? Totally drying these up. We've got, this is gonna be a long one today, guys. It's gonna be a total long one today. You're gonna be like, oh, Jen. Aren't you done yet? So I'm just using my hair dryer to speed up the process. And I am going to turn on my glue gun just in case I need it, you guys. Let me plug that thing in. And you guys 
don't want me to sing. Believe me, you don't want me to sing. No. Okay. Put this over here. All right. So now we've got these cute little squares, right? What do we do next? So you're just going to take some ribbon, right? We're going to take some ribbon like this. Turn it this way, turn it this way. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. This, um, I am not good at making knots. I swear I am not good at making knots. All right, so we have that, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this like this. This is how I cut my little, no, I always get this wrong when I do this. Got to make sure you cut it so that you have your little angle there. And then I'm going to get this one. Cut my little angle there. All right. I went ahead and I pre-made this bow. Check it out, look how cute it is. I'm gonna show you how to make this today for the small one. But look at my cute little bow. You guys, the easiest bow you will ever create. I'm gonna show you how to do this, all right? Don't fret, and you can pull it. Look, like I can pull things around. I can do all kind of things with this, okay? I'm just gonna attach this, and I'm gonna get a little greenery here. Actually, let me get my little greenery on there. This one was falling apart already. I just bought it and it's falling apart. You could hot glue it if you want to. I'm just spinning it around there. I'm going to take my ribbon and tie this on there as well. Uh, you know what? I need to make it a little bit tighter, you guys. Just a little bit tighter. Let me see. Let me see. Yay, thanks, Rhonda. I'm so excited to be back. I have so many ideas in my head that I've, I've been wanting to do, just I haven't had the time or the space, really the space. The internet was horrible. You guys all know that. It's just been, I, I'm so glad I get to do this again. So thank you for being patient with me. Thank you so much. Like I said, you could totally hot glue that. Just for time purposes, I'm trying to get this quickly on here. Okay. And again, you will totally tie that onto the back. Oh, my little thing there. And like I said, you'll spread this out. And I'm going to show you how to do these. Don't worry. I'm going to show you how to totally do that make that cute little bow okay so there's one little gift so far and then I don't know if you guys have been on the website we've got these cute little gift tags you guys it comes in a set of six right super amazing cute little gift tags we do have a gift tag set that you can buy that says you know don't open to Christmas to or from no, I think it says no peeking let's see I think that's what it says oh Rhonda so so glad for the nice weather absolutely yeah no peeking so that's one of the gift tags that you can um, definitely use but I'm gonna use part of the holiday icon and as long as you are not a designer and you're a part of my VIP group I do have some mini icon bundles in my VIP group um, just give me a hashtag VIP and I will be sure to get you the link to be added to that group where you can purchase these mini bundles. Okay, so I'm just going to use one of these on here. I'm actually going to just go like that. And I'm going to hang this right on here. Okay, so again, I'm just actually, you know what? I'm going to go with a little bit of red, right? We want to do some red. Do, 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 do how things change in the middle of doing a project. You get my little stir stick, stir that up, use some candy apple red on here. 
to go with our berries. Sorry, I won't sing. It just makes me happy. It just makes me happy to be chalking, you guys. Make sure you write on the back of these because again, they are all reusable. Rub your finger over the edge to get it started. I'm gonna put this right on there. And put it down a little bit further because it might be hidden by the bow. I love these little gift tags. Like they are amazing. Love them. All right, so let me get my black back out too because I think we're gonna play a little bit. Let's play a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do the word believe in black. Now, if you've ever worked with like vinyl, you guys, you'll know how you have to weed things out, um, weed those little spaces out. That's the beauty of this is there is absolutely no weeding. All of the detail and character are already right in the transfers for you, okay? So I'm just gonna go like this. All right, got that covered. I'm gonna pull this one up. Check it out. Love it. Look how cute, you guys. Look at the lettering, perfect lettering. Oh my gosh, love the gift tags. All right, let's dry that up. And it does come with your string already. You could use a cute little ribbon if you wanted to. Okay. Dry that up. Let's get another piece of string here. Because we're going to add this to our gift. Because remember, these are gifts going under those cute little trees that I took a picture of earlier. Actually, let me see if I can do this. How do I want to do it? Do I want to tie it? I should have done it a different way, but it's all good. Because I'm thinking, I'm going to go like this. Just moving my bow out of the way. I'm going to tie this under here. <coughs> my little boy's over there coughing, you guys. You hear him? And again, spread these out so you can see all the pretty colors, the pretty designs. Spread them out. Pull that up so you can see that. And check it out, you guys. Check out how cute this is. Is a little gift for underneath. It's a faux gift for underneath your Christmas tree. That simple, that easy. What did it take us, like 20 minutes to make this? And half of it is just me jibber jabbing, right? Look how cute that is as a cute little Christmas gift. Easy peasy bow. I'm gonna show you how to do the bow now for the little one, but check it out, you guys. Do you not love it? Give me some hearts, give me some thumbs, thumbs up. Bleh. Some thumbs up if you love it. I'd love it if you'd share this video as long as you're not a designer. Isn't that darling? Darling. Okay, let's do the next one. All right, so again, we're going to wrap this. We are going to wrap this like this. Wait, let me just make sure I'm even. I'm going to go like this and this. And we're going to tie this. I think I made this one just a little too small, but it's okay. It's going to work. It's going to work just fine okay just like that and then let's cut these cute little gifts like that let's cut this one to give it our cute little v at the ends, just like that. Give me a hashtag gift presents if you are loving it. Now for this one, I'm actually gonna use one of our ornaments because it's a little bit smaller for this one, okay? So again, I am just gonna take one of these. I think I'm gonna use the warm wishes on this one, you guys. 
And we do have an ornament transfer that goes with that one as well. But I'm gonna use the little ornament on here. And this one was the warm wishes. Fun stuff. Who is all there? Are you guys still watching me? I'm not seeing comments, so I hope, am I live? Please make sure I'm live. All right, I'm gonna put this one right on there. Right where I want it in the center. It'll be fine. Okay, so again, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the wishes in black. I'm gonna do the warm in, in red, just because, you know, warm is red, like fire kind of thing, right? Again, squeegees going right in the water. Dip that right in. I'm gonna be in Palm Beach this weekend, you guys, for a big Vintage Market Days craft show. Um, again, if anyone is in that area, I would love for you to stop by and say hello to me. We are going to have um, Chalk Couture with a bunch of workshops. It's going to be fun. I would love to see you and meet you. All right, you guys, I'm going to take, oops, this isn't one, but that's okay. I will use this anyway. Da, da, da. These come with strings as well. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Uh, these do come with strings as well. I just didn't get them. Obviously, I bought, I picked out the wrong thing for my little cart over there these are going to be all over my Christmas tree this year you guys I bought a ton of ornaments for our tree this year <gasps> that's a good question hey Crystal how are you do you guys do real trees or artificial trees tell me in the comments do you do real trees or artificial trees I would love to know thanks for sharing Again, the greatest compliment you could give me is a share. Crystal is always amazing and shares my videos. Thank you, girl, so, so much. I greatly appreciate that. I'm going to tidy this up a little bit, make it tight. So, so I'm going to put this on first, just like this. Okay. And then I will get this little thing, put him back there. Just like that. And like I said, you could hot glue these right on there. Look at that. Now I'm going to show you how to make artificial awesome. We do, oh, nice, Crystal. Fresh cut. We're doing fresh cut. So this was the first one. And now I'm going to show you how to make this cute little bow for the small one. It's easy. You guys are going to be like, what? So you just pick your ribbons that you want to use. All right. So this one I'm not going to make is bulky because I don't think there's enough room. And then you just cut, you just cut slices, okay? Matthew, you sound absolutely lovely over there. You just cut little slices. Oh, that one might be too short. Just like this. Little slices, just like that, okay? So I've got all these, just like this. And then I like to cut my ends prior to doing it. So I just fold it in half, cut, fold it in half, cut. And that's what's gonna give you the little V. Okay, so I take it, I fold it in half, and I cut. That's what gives you that little edge, okay? So I'm gonna take this. Fold it in half, cut, okay, I've got that, I've got those, obviously I've got to have my buffalo plaid, thank you Sandy. So if you are watching, tell me what kind of tree, do you do an artificial tree or do you do a real tree? Inquiring minds want to know. We will have both this year. I think I'm gonna use one more of these. Okay. So again, you're just cutting your ribbon right in strips. That's all you're doing, just straight little strips. 
And then if you want, you don't have to do this part of giving them the little edges. I just, I like it. I think it gives it more of the bow effect. But again, you don't have to. Okay. Just like that. Now, um, you could get little jingle bells. That's what I used on the other one. This one, I'm actually just going to use one of these little balls. And then let me see if this will fit through here. I may need to use this a little bit thinner. Oh, yeah, very nice. Oh, shoot, I need the little string. Little or string. Fresh cut. I just love the smell. I love the smell of a real tree. I could deal without all the needles, but I love the smell. I might need to get a little bigger ball. It's not going to be too big. Let me, let me see. So these are the balls that have the holes on both sides. And of course this side's all clogged, right? So it may not go through very well. Do, do, do. We are crafting today. And I am not a bow maker, you guys. I am telling you, I'm not. So you've got your string through your ball. That's all I've done. Okay, put it right in the center. Make sure I have enough string on each side. You take it and you tie it in a knot right in the back and squeeze it as tight as you can. Okay, just squeeze it as tight as you can. That's all you're going to do, and it's not centered. I'm going to move that really quick. I'm going to squeeze that as tight as I can, make a knot so it doesn't come undone. Just like that, okay? And then all you do is you take your ribbon and you just spread them out. Oops, see I have more on one side than the other. So that's the nice thing is you can move it, you can pull it, you can tug it around, and then you're just spreading it out so you have a cute little bow. It, it was that easy. Just strips, you tie something around it, and then this, It's going to get tied right to, oops, let me make sure I have the same end so I don't tie the wrong thing. I'm going to tie this right to our gift. But you guys, that is how easy it was to make that bow. Like, no requirement needed. Like, you don't need to be a crafter. I am not a crafter. I saw it on YouTube or something like that, and that's where I got the idea from. Like, no joke. Okay. Get your little greenery, stick it right in there. It's not going down, it's stuck on something. Hold on, you guys. Okay, hot glue your greenery in there. You've got your little bow, you've got your little present. And check it out, you guys. I now have two really cute little gifts to put right under my tree. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you absolutely love it? Yay! Thanks for watching, Jill. I'm glad you love it. Cute, cute, cute. Really cute little Christmas tree faux gifts that you can put under the tree for decoration by your fireplace. Um, like I said, these are just canvases, basic plain canvases that I've done with our buffalo plaid. I used our mini icon for the tags and the ornaments. The um, ornaments do come in a set of 12. The tags come in a set of 6. And you guys, you can make beautiful DIY home decor just like that. Like seriously, how cute is that going to look under the Christmas tree? Right? I will definitely make sure I take that picture so you can see it. Yay, I love hearts, hearts, hearts. Um, you guys, if you have any question about Chalk Couture, please let me know. If you're interested in being a customer, I do have a private VIP group where I am going to be doing a 12 Days of Christmas coming up soon. Um, also something for Black Friday, so stay tuned for that as long as you're in my VIP group. If you are not and you are currently not working with a designer, just give me a hashtag VIP below and I will make sure I add you or get you the link to my group. And then if you're interested, again, in earning some extra holiday cash and being a designer like myself, please make sure that you give me a hashtag join below 
and I will again be sure to get you the link to watch that 15 minute video to learn a little bit more about Chalk Couture. So you guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. You won't hear from me from for tomorrow because I'm going to be leaving to drive to Florida to Palm Beach, but you will see me this weekend. So I'll be talking with you soon, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.